Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to science class. What is light? Is our topic today. What is light? Let's see. Visible light in its sources. This is a subtitle. The title is What is light? The subtitle Visible light in its sources. In its sources. Do you know what is visible spectrum? It is light energy that can be seen and can be broken into yes, the science. Course. science. You didn't copy the topic. Who asked me if this class is science? Who? This can copy. Kristen. Kristen, you didn't copy? Yes, I copy. Okay. So copy visible light and its sources. And then copy visible spectrum. And the definition, copy the underlying information, please. Visible spectrum is the light energy that can be seen and can be broken into the colors of the rainbow, okay? So in the rainbow, we see the visible spectrum. Visible spectrum. You know that to, um, the rainbow to form, the rainbow to form needs drops of water and sunlight. That's what it needs. It needs drops, drops of water and light and sunlight. The light passes through the drops and, and break, okay, the, the light passes through the drops of water and break them, break the water the visible spectrum into different colors. That's how the rainbow forms. Maria, too late. 15 minutes late, Maria. 15 minutes late. That's still here. She's connecting, but slow. Did you copy? Some kids let microphones on and are making well, voices. If you want to participate so, with something related with a class, you can open your microphone, but don't don't make your microphone on. Because if you're you do like this, that's a noise I am listening. If you do this. Everything, those noises are listened. So please close your microphones. Open it just if you I have to say to something. Okay. Oh. Well, I never see Maria. I think it was Enrique. Maria Jose. Please, I'm here. Maria, no, Maria Fernanda. Apparently she connected, but I cannot find her camera. No, she's not here. I finished my so. Okay, continue. You have to copy the underlying information, I don't right? Finish. So this is the visible spectrum. This is a rainbow. Rainbow, right? Isabella, I need your... I need your help. Copy faster, please. Okay. Copy faster. Sometimes I know- Miss, I already that, changed my name. That, thank you. I know that kids, um, quickly, Jose Enrique. I know that sometimes kids get distracted and start copying late. That's why they finish late. So visible spectrum, it is the light. It is light energy that can be seen can be observed and can be broken into the colors of the rainbow this one okay so isabella let me know when you finish means is that a double rainbow well i think it has the same color at this side and this the same colors at this other side but they're oh, not the rainbows rainbow. that i have me one day i saw 
two rainbows like that in the you photo. Saw like two photo. rainbows. But I think they were in like in that photo. They look like in the photo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isabella, good job. Uh, so Maria Fernanda, I cannot wait for you. You have to watch the video and copy because you connected too late. Now, look at this. Can you imagine what the word would be? Would uh, be, what does it say here? Like without, without light? You would not be able to see the world around you. Plants could not grow, could um, could not grow, and you what? would what the fuck? would not have any food to eat. Yeah, that's true. Because yes, you can water plants, you can um, add nutrients, you can plant in good soil. But if the plant does not receive sunlight, it's not gonna grow. So if we don't have sunlight, we're not gonna have food. We're gonna we're not gonna have producers. If there's no plants for cows, cows will die. Cows do not eat, or well, cows eat only plants. And is if there are no plants, no producers, no plants, so we're not gonna have cows, no meat, no hens, no chickens, no eggs, nothing. So we're not gonna be we are not gonna be able to live. Light is all around you, but you probably don't um, don't. What it says here? I need your help because these pictures is not good. Don't really, really. Uh huh. But you probably don't really don't don't really here. No, didn't. You I need know. your book. Who has a book? Close. So here, don't about it every often. Do you know that light is really energy? Unlike most energy, light is a form of energy that you can see. You can see. Like uh, magnetism. Magnetism is a, a form of energy, right? But we cannot see it. We, in something we cannot feel it because um, the gravity attracts us to the to the earth, right? But we cannot see that one. Um, the light energy that you can see is a visible spectrum. Notice the rainbow in the picture. You might have seen a rainbow in the sky after a rain shower. When the sun shines through the clouds during or after the rain shower, the sunlight passes through water droplets in the air. The droplets break up the light into all the colors of the visible spectrum, making a rainbow. This information is on page 94. Look at the rainbow again. You can see the colors, red, orange, yellow, blue, uh, green, indigo, and violet yes, in the I don't rainbow. See that means I don't see you don't see them because it says, look at the rainbow again. Look at all of these. And yeah, they're like blue, and the purple, colors pink. In a specific order in the rainbow. Did you know that? The colors in a rainbow has in a specific Ooh. order. Like, uh -huh, it says red here, begins here at the bottom. At the top, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. All of these colors and the colors in between them make up white light, white light. How is it? It tells us that between, for example, this is a red, this is a blue line. That says blue. Between the blue and the red, there is a, there is a white line here. Entre, entre, entre cada uno de los colores hay una luz blanca. There is a white light. That's what it says here. Most Light from the sun is white light. Most of our light comes from the sun. Even moonlight is light from the sun bouncing off the moon because the moon is a dark object. It's a dark satellite. The moon is a satellite, but it's not a satellite made by human beings. It's a natural satellite. And it doesn't have light by its own. 
the light that we can see on the moon is the reflections of the sun. It's light bound, the lights that bounce on the moon, but it's actually that light comes from the sun. When, which objects in the picture give us light? The fire give us light, the electric lights also, or uh, uh, the sun, fire, and electric lights. Three, and these one are sources of light, sources of light. Also, we get light from candles, matches. You know what matches are? What are matches, class? Matches. Matches are the things that you do with fire. In, in Spanish? Phosphorus. Phosphorus, exactly. Candles, matches, flashlights also make light. You, you light a match and you get a flame. And that's light. The flame gives us light. But candles also in the flashlight. Flashlight uses um, flashlight use batteries, and it produces um, it produces light. Okay, make this one. Make this light sources. This one in your notebook, and you draw the arrows because this one are light sources. Before you copy what a visible spectrum is. Now, these one are examples of light sources, things that give off light. Sun, fire, the stars. The star, you know what star, stars are made up of um, glowing, hot. Me copy that. Yes, copy. Stars, what are stars? Stars are mass. Make the drawing, make this one. Draw the circle and then the arrows and you write the words. This one are light sources. So los um, sources son. Um, how can I say this in Spanish? Okay. Como fuente de luz, this one, this one make um, a light mass of of hot glowing gases those are stars stars is gases hot gases isabella you're not copying y después yo tengo que esperar por usted see that's what i mean todos copiando menos isabella then isabella is the last one Star, mass of hot glowing gases. That's a star. It's gas. It's not solid. It's not solid. So the sun, imagine the sun, oof, the temperature of the sun is not, is I think thousands of degrees. I'm going to tell have, I have a question. Uh-huh. We need to color. Oh no. You can if you have time you can. So the temperature the temperature of the sun is 5505 degrees Celsius. When we anyone? have when we have a hot day, when we have a hot day in San Pedro Sula for example, the temperature normally and it's hot could be 33 to 35 degrees celsius san pedro sula for example and this one is very hot so imagine the temperature Wait, of I think the sun. Copy all that okay it's 5505 degrees celsius we cannot be so close if we get close we will die because our body cannot stand this, this temperature. Our body is not made for to stand this temperature. Nuestro cuerpo no está hecho para soportar esa temperatura. I am Ivana. Can I tell you something? Okay, tell me. Do you know that Venus is the, the planet, eh, el, el planeta más caliente de la Tierra? Which del, one? De la galaxia. Venus. Which, Venus. You know why? 
Uh, I don't know, but I only know that is the the most hot. Venus the hotter, is the, is the planet, hotter. The more, the more, the more hot planet because no. is. No, don't say the more, the more hot. The hotter. What actually is, it doesn't have to be the hotter. It has to be the hottest because you are comparing Venus with the rest of the planets. It is the hottest planet in the solar system. Okay. I'm going to check in the internet. Let's see. I think if this one is the hottest planet, it's because it is closer to the sun. Maybe, right? And probably because of the um, gases in, in the atmosphere, also in the air. Maybe, maybe also hottest, hottest planet in the solar system, Venus. And also says, even though Mercury is closer to the sun because the first one, the first planet um, in the list is Mercury. Mercury is the first one. Then we have Venus. Even though Mercury is closer to the sun, Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Its thick as atmosphere is full of the greenhouse carbon, gas carbon dioxide. It has a lot of carbon dioxide. That's why it is the hottest planet. And it has clouds of sulfuric acid. The atmosphere traps heat making it feel like a furnace on the surface. Lo hace sentir como un horno. That's what it says. Because it has carbon dioxide and also has sulfuric acid. So the heat, um, the atmosphere, the, the, the heat, el calor, the heat cannot escape from that planet. The atmosphere um, is capture the heat. El calor lo atrapa la atmósfera. So, si no, si no lo puede, si el calor no puede salir de la planeta, of course, it's like a furnace. Es como un horno. That's why it is the, that's why uh, Venus is the hottest planet. It is like a furnace. Furnace on the surface. Como un horno en la, en la especie. Ok, continue. Mention, oh, well, light sources, we... you already did it. Mention light sources. This one, this one are the light sources. No. You finished, oh. who, is, who is copying? I just need to miss, I just need yeah. two more, just two more. I need to copy me. Okay. I said that I need your help because this class was long. I need your help. Uh, Daniel, you look very relaxed. Did you copy everything? Yes, me. Okay. What about you, Isabella? Finished? Isabella, finished? Okay. Let's see who else. Santiago, I just see your hair. Un poquito de su pelo. Adriana also. Aha, uh -huh. Kristen, I can see one part of your head also. Finish. Finished. Okay. So mention the light sources. You already copied. Finish. Why? I think you are distracted. You are distracted. And I said that since the beginning. I need you copy quickly. Quickly, and I said, make the make the arrows here and copy things that give lights off: sun, fire, stars, flashlight, light bulb, Miss, candle Miss, flame. Uh huh. That, that's I finish, 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 finish. Okay, from here I need you copy. Light sources. Only the, the underlying information. Light sources, natural light. Okay, the natural light comes from the sun, right? And the light that comes from the sun is white. And the second light source is artificial light. Yeah, 
the artificial light. Remember, you have to copy only that underlying information, light sources, dos puntos. You can make here dos puntos aquí. Punto, dos puntos. The first one, light, natural light. And the second one, artificial light. Natural light come from the sun and is white. Artificial light comes from sources such as candles, tungsten filaments, and gas discharge lamp. It has different mix of components which produce a different colored light. Yeah, like the um, natural gas, for example. Natural gas is, the flame is like blue because of the components present in that, um, in that matter, in that fuel. I think it's a copy. Copy, light sources, natural light, and artificial light. Finished? Yeah. Finished. Who is copying? Anna. Anna, you're copying. Ivana. But only no, the me. three, right? Light, light sources, natural light, and artificial light. That's it. That's the only things you have to copy. Uh-huh, dear uh, Alan, finish. Don't get distracted, it's late, please. Yes, I okay. finish. Ivana? Yeah? Finish? Yes, I already finished. Okay, I think. Me, I am copying. Yeah, you got to copy only that. This one is artificial lights, candles, lamps, light bulb. This is another kind of light bulb. Uh, Adriana is copying. I think that to do the light, we don't need to copy. What? You don't need to copy everything. You need to copy the underlying information. But again, okay. when I when kids ask me that, yo digo, ¿dónde están cuando yo doy la instrucción? Okay, so how light waves act? Look at this. Waves. As you can see, the distance from this way to this one is bigger than this one. Don't copy this. The distance from a point on a wave to the same point on the next wave. Eso es un wavelength. So the wavelength of this one begins here to here is that from this, this is this distance. Of course, this wavelength is greater than this other. Because if I compare this one, see, this one is shorter. So that is the wavelength in light. And it can be measured. Radium, microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma ray, all of them have different wavelengths. All of these um, type of rays. About the size, building, humans, honeybee, a pinhead, protosomes, molecules, atoms, and atomic nuclei. We're gonna see this better um, next week, hopefully. Homeward of Science experiment video will be present next class. So will be tomorrow. Who are gonna present tomorrow? Girls and boys yeah. didn't present today. Tomorrow is the last opportunity. You have to be uh, clear about that. Tomorrow is your last opportunity. Okay, so have a nice afternoon. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.